Thanks very much. Joining me now in the studio is National Grid Strategic Communications Man Manager, Jared Paventi. Jared, good to see you. Thanks for being in the studio with here. us. Um, you were in Rome earlier yes. today. I'm curious to know what, uh, what you thought when you got there first. Just, it's heartbreaking. Um, you know, I know I've worked with people from Rome or throughout my career, and Rome, Romans are proud people, and they will bounce back from this. But I, I know that it is it is a tough time for people out there just to see steeples off churches, buildings on the ground, and you know, as you're seeing on there, just streets that are impassable. Not because of just trees and utility poles being down, but because buildings are down. Yeah, I want to ask you because I, th I think I, I know where you're going with the, uh, with this one. What's different about these storms yeah. compared to what National Grid normally deals with? You know, tornadoes have have been rarities in, in central New York, upstate New York. We'd get one a year mm -hmm. and it would be sort of a big deal. And, you know, ten, in the last week we've had, what, close to 10 of them. Yeah. Um, you know, and talking to our crews today, they're not just dealing with trees and tree limbs. They're dealing with, dealing with parts of buildings mm -hmm. having taken down our infrastructure. So to clear out, to make a scene safe, they're removing bricks and home pieces of homes so they can get to... Uh, down lines. Yeah, give us an update. How mm -hmm. how is uh, everything progressing along? Looks like you've made incredible progress mm -hmm. closer to home here, but I know obviously mm -hmm. parts of Madison and Oneida County, um, the city of Oneida, city of Rome, mm -hmm. um, still a lot of people without power. Yeah, so in 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 Oneida County, we're dealing with about 11,700 customers that are still out. The vast majority of them, about 7,600 or so, are in the city of Rome. Mm -hmm. Now, we've made great progress yeah. in the past 24 hours. Um, we've brought the number down under 10,000, but there's still so much work to, to do. Um, we have more than 1,000 um, employees, field workers that are on the ground, tree specialists, line specialists, doing assessments and making the repairs, but it's going to be a slow go because there is so much tree damage. There is so much um, there's damage to our transmission system. Oh transmission system, those are those big lines off the mm -hmm. off the sides of highways. We've this is a rarity when we take the damage to that system because it's very resilient yeah. and um, it takes out num a large number of customers. So we have two transmission lines that still need to be brought back up. Um, and then obviously the work within street to street, neighborhood to neighborhood. Um, I know you can't say for everybody, but could be days, plural, before we get everybody back online? It is a multi-day event. Yeah. You know, okay. I think, you know, this is a situation where, where it's going to be over the next couple days. Um, for us to get get everything done, especially as we get to those single customer outages where maybe the line from right. the pole to the house sure. came down. Uh, we look at bringing on large numbers as fast mm -hmm. as we can, plus those critical facilities like hospitals, nursing homes, police and fire. So um, it is going to take some time. We know people's patients are test yeah. is being tested, but uh, our crews have been out there working around the clock since Monday from the first batch of storms of this week. And we just, you know, we ask for, for patience there. We know you're doing all you can, Jared Paventi from National Grid. Thanks so much for Thanks, being Jeff. with us and keeping us up to date. Really Thank appreciate you. that.